I'm, I'm not understanding what's the big deal because, I mean, I'm a truck driver, so, you know, and I'm for sure about my eyes. <laughs> Just to believe what I tell you. But yes. I, I, I've never been uncomfortable listening to your show or, you know, found myself turning away from How it. So I really that? don't understand what the big deal is. But uh, thank well, you for your time anyway. Thank you, Paul. All right. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend. Yeah, he hasn't been uncomfortable, but he's only been listening for seven days. Give him a moment. We'll make him uncomfortable. As soon as we get that Woody button done. <laughs> How you doing? Hi, Mike. Mike is Wendy. on the phone from Detroit. Hi, Mike. What's going down, Wendy? You know, I was I was telling the young lady that, that came on the phone. You know, in the D, you know, we got to get more of a connection because I'm about to be honest with you, geographically, you know, where you've been in New York, yeah, you know, we really can't get that connection. So, I, yeah, I'm like, who? I said, how is she getting on 105? So I got my own business. So I turned the radio, and I'm like, you know, she said some some things about people in the past. I'm like, I'm not really sure. But the more I started listening, mm -hmm. I said, Wendy, she real. Well, see, here's the thing, Mike. I like to think that, um, that wait, can we can we finish this conversation on the other side? Goose is about to cut me off locally. I got to give you two minutes, and then we'll come back, okay? Okay. Please don't hang up. I'm not. All right, hold on. Okay. Mike is on the phone from Detroit. I was talking to him briefly, um, and, and he was just getting into. Um, Detroit is a very new radio market to the Wendy Williams experience, and, and it is no secret, um, Mike. Hi. Oh, I'm here. That, um, you know, I'm here in New York City. Right. And um, Mike was making reference to the fact that, you know, he's in the D, as, right. as they call it there in Detroit, and was a, is a steady listener of the radio station that I'm on in Detroit, and could not understand why it is that the radio station would put, you know, me on based in New York when it has nothing to do with Detroit. But after listening longer to the show, go ahead, Mike, what did you find? You know, you know, like I said before, you know, the thing that that really impressed me was that a lot of people, it's a mis, you know, mis, misconception if they've seen you on TV or heard you say just a few sound bites. But now when you get a chance to hear you for maybe three or four hours, there's a lot of different dimensions, you know, to what you do. Yeah. You know, and um, I thought, I said, well, with the D, I mean, we're a really, real interesting, interesting city. Yes. But it's, it's, it's a hell of a city. But my thing is, you know, trying to get that connection where there's certain people in places that, you know, maybe I can touch base with somebody, not me, but someone else, you know, some movers and shakers in the city to say, how can we get behind, you know, you know, the show or, you know, trying to get you here in the D to, you know, get that connection or to get more callers to call in. Because me personally, and I'm not just saying this, I think the show is, like I say, you got me listening to it. But like I said, with the D, it's very, very fickle in terms of, because naturally if you're hearing the predominant number of people calling in, they have the accent, they're from New York, you know, so it's like, where's the connection for the D? I've got to tell you something, right. though. Um, the the phone lines here, as you you called, you know, 866-GET-WENDY. It's a national toll-free telephone number. Okay. Everybody can get through if they want to. Right. It, it is no, um, I, you know, I don't rig the phone calls where, you know, uh, I get a lot of phone calls from New York, New Jersey, this tri-state area here. It's just that I think a lot of people sit back and they're just kind of shell shocked by the whole thing, and they don't really don't know what to do. So oh, yeah. I, I always am glad when people, you know, from Oklahoma City or Shreveport, where we're right. heard, or or Detroit. I love it when you all call. And this is a show, and I'm glad you recognize it. Yeah, I'm based in New York, but this is a people show. Oh yeah. And oh, yeah. people are people, whether you're in New York or right. whether you're in Alabama. Well, and see, the thing is, you know, I'm thinking that. With Detroit being such a, you know, such a dynamic city, you know, we're on the move. There's a lot of things happening. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of phenomenal people here locally and nationally that come throughout the city. Yeah. You know, I would just like to see eventually where, you know, the city start to embrace you a little bit more. And maybe the station can do something to, you know, to get you here. Well, because I've I've got a really terrific radio crime boss uh, there on the staff, um, the fabulous Skip. And, and we're working very closely with each other to get me out there, you know, to visit the market and so on and so forth and you know um and, and i just i'm glad that you like because i know this is a big pill to swallow i'm glad you listen mike you know and it, and it also even even when i hang up i mean you can have you know one or you know one of your producers you know i can you know leave my name and number and i'm not just saying it's just he just says one money, of but, like this is a big you know, you know, i'm pretty resourceful you know <laughs> yes. and i know quite a few people you know i have my own business yes. and you know just my little small part you know if you ever came to the d you know i can call some people and make sure they come out 
you know, some you know some people in the community pretty influential well, and stuff like that. Would you that. like to take my producer's um, email address? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, her name is Taryn, T-A-R-I-N. Okay. Taryn at WBLS. That's my flagship station here in New York. Taryn WBLS? At, yeah, as in Sam. BLS. Okay. Taryn at WBLS.com. Okay. What kind of business you got, Mike? Uh, consulting business. I do financial consulting. A uh, lot of different stuff. But, you know, naturally, I don't want to promote me. I can send something in the email because, yeah. you know, you know, it's about you. You're doing your thing. Like I say, I only seen bits and pieces on TV. I don't agree with she said that. But then when you hear the radio show, it's like it gives a different representation of what people hear and see on TV. Yeah, well, I mean, you can't agree with everything that I say. Right, but and, you tight, and, and, But I appreciate... You know, you down for the count. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You professional, you you got a lot of experience, but at the same time, you you got, you know, mass, you know, street credibility, but I'm just saying that you professional, but, you know, you can relate to a lot of different people. And like I said before, I never really heard you in depth on, on radio until you came to Detroit, but in all honesty, I wanted to let you know that you you tight, Wendy. Well, thank you, Mike. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. Hey, Charlemagne, mm -hmm. did you notice that when Mike was talking about the show, he said you can get one of your producers to get in touch? Like he thinks that this is a huge budget radio show with a big ensemble and a huge staff. He doesn't know we got one little producer named Taryn, and she's a producer slash Aaron person slash intern, slash, intern right. slash get the phone. We all have a million jobs. I got to tell you something, and I'll be very honest with you. And I love the illusion that you that some of you buy into that you know we just got this big staff of people. I swear to goodness, this is the little engine that could. We are the um, the wild card in this radio game. I mean, I got the smallest staff. The majority of my staff non paid interns, and 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 and. Ugh, Rest very man, quickly paid. Man, listen, right. The rest quickly paid. And man, if you only knew <laughs> that this show, when I say it is what it is, man, listen. And I'll be the first to tell you. <laughs> and the baby mother came to my house. I live with him. Oh, came to okay. the house, and she was in the room. Uh oh. And the door was closed, and my cousin answered the door with just the um, boxes on. Okay. Uh -oh. So the baby mother went upstairs 